Hi everyone. I am Nisha. This International Women's Day, let's inspire change by recognizing the resilience and talents of women around you. May it be the women in your family or your workplace or the lady who is sitting next to you. Inspire them with your understanding, acknowledgement, encouragement and treat them equally. May they may look or feel different than you. Can I still treat them as my equals? Will I invest my time and patience to get to know them? Will I help them if I can, no matter what they believe? Dear friends, embrace our differences while creating a tapestry of strength and unity. Let our children and youngsters see how we walk the talk. I wish you an incredible Women's Day today and every day. Thank you for listening. Welcome all and happy International Women's Day. I would like to draw your attention to the Catholic perspective of this year's theme, Inspire Inclusion and Invest on Women to Accelerate the Progress. The Gospel according to St. John chapter 4, we come across the profound encounter between the Lord Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Samaritan woman here is actually a representative of the people those who suffered religious discrimination, societal discrimination, and cultural discrimination. Jesus as a Jewish rabbi is going near to her and talking to her and finally made that woman as a missionary, maybe the first missionary according to the gospel. So Jesus was inspiring the inclusion of the marginalized people. Jesus was investing on a marginalized woman. And what was the result? The result is amazing. This lady was able to bring a lot more people to Lord Jesus. And she went back to her village and she brought the entire villagers to the Lord Jesus. Thus, it was a very successful uh, mission from her. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us inspire the inclusion of the marginalized. Of course, the marginalized here is the women. And uh, let us celebrate the incredible achievements of the women everywhere and let us work for a future where gender equality is not just a dream but a reality. Thank you. Namaskaram. I am Ashwati Gopalakrishnan. I am very proud of you. 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 ഒരുപാട് സ്ത്രീകൾ അവരുടെ സാക്രിഫൈസിലൂടെയാണ് ഈ സമൂഹം മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്നത് അപ്പൊ സ്ത്രീകളെ കണ്ണു തുറന്ന് കാണുക അവരുടെ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളെയും അവരെ തന്നെ അംഗീകരിക്കുക എല്ലാവർക്കും നല്ലൊരു വനിതാ ദിനം ആശംസിക്കുന്നു Investing in women is something that we need to talk more in our community. Uh, there are uh, numerous very talented ladies, but because of the lack of support from the family, they are not reaching their full potential. So it is uh, very important that we support and invest in ladies so that they can be more courageous, more confident and financially independent. We need more girls to become entrepreneurs and uh, think globally. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am a research scientist working at a research institute, Premier Research Institute in India in Mumbai and it's the day again when we wish each other a happy Women's Day and this is just a reminder to us that we women have to help each other to grow and so that you know our society is able to achieve gender equity. So as women who have opportunities or who are at places where they can make some difference to the lives of their fellow women i would say that it would be utmost important for us if uh, at least a few women around us we are able to take care of them in the sense specifically towards uh, making them financially aware because that's that's the Uh, arena where i would say that women are not really that good and they have to depend on their male counterparts to help them out each time there is a uh, financial difficulty so make them aware about how to uh, be financially independent with whatever little earnings they have how to utilize them well i think that would be the most important thing that i think is important if a woman has to be empowered 
for herself. Thank you. Investing in women means focusing on various aspects like financial independence, social respect, emotional well-being, spiritual development. Above all, it signifies treating them with dignity and respect and giving them opportunities to level up. I'd like to share a quote from the play Chitrangada written by Rabindranath Tagore. It says, "Not a goddess to be worshipped on an altar, nor a mere woman pushed behind with indifference." If you let me walk beside you in weal and woe and make me your comrade in difficult venture you will know me for what I am Happy Women's Day thank you Investing in a woman simply means just trusting her learning to know her saying a word of encouragement appreciating her efforts in other words allowing her to grow then you will see many many mary curies florence nightingales malala yousafzais or pravin frees indira gandhi and many more if we do so we will not have to lament like thomas gray did in his elegy return in a country churchyard he cried full many a gem of purest ray serene the dark unfathomed caves of ocean bare Full many a flower is born to blush and seem and waste its sweetness on the desert air. Happy Women's Day to all wonderful gems and flowers from Somi and Alice. Invest in women means help her to aspire more, help her to create more, help her to more be more productive in all spheres of life. You know, for that she needs to be empowered. In fact, empowerment is a process a process for what a process of equipping a woman to utilize her potentialities her capabilities so that she will grow from a state of beneficiary to a stage of contributor and by which through that process she can lead the life her own life with more dignity and self assurance so empowerment is a process we enable women to lead a meaningful life for herself and contribute towards the society at large in that sense women empowerment is not against men not against the family not against any institution rather an empowered woman is an asset to the family a social capital for the entire nation so this year when we invest in her we help her to grow to that stage of contributory so in that process two things should happen one is a self empowerment that means empowerment should come from within unless and until self empowerment takes place if even if there are a lot of agencies empower from outside it will be in vain so the second phase is empowerment from other side maybe government maybe for maybe by uh, some uni- unified work or some associations organizations etc etc so let this year help her to be more proactive more productive more creative so that she also needs a life worth it to be lived thank you ende abhiprayathil kaidu 49 varshakalathe varshakalam or abhibhashakayayi pravartichcha enne sambandhichu edathalam women empowerment kudumbathil ninnu thodanganam ennaanu enikku parayan ende anubhavathilodeyanu njan idu parayunnu oru gramina karshaka kudumbathil janicha enne എന്നിലുള്ള കഴിവുകൾ കണ്ട് എന്നെ വളർത്തിയെടുക്കാൻ എനിക്ക് വേണ്ട പ്രോത്സാഹനം നൽകാൻ എനിക്ക് വേണ്ട കരുതൽ നൽകാൻ ശ്രമിച്ച എന്റെ മാതാപിതാക്കളെയും സഹോദരങ്ങളെയും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ വിവാഹത്തിന് ശേഷം എന്റെ ഭർത്താവിനെയും എന്റെ കുടുംബാംഗങ്ങളെയും ഞാൻ ഈ അവസരത്തിൽ നന്ദിയോടെ സ്മരിക്കുകയാണ് അതോടൊപ്പം സഭാ വേദികളിൽ ചെറിയ കുട്ടിയായിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ മുതൽ അത്തോലിക്ക സഭയുടെ വേദികളിലൂടെ കടന്നു വരുവാനും അതിലൂടെ എന്റെ പ്രാഗൽഭ്യവും കഴിവും തെളിയിക്കുവാനും എനിക്ക് സാധിച്ചു എന്നുള്ളത് ഒരു വലിയ അനുഗ്രഹമായി ഞാൻ കരുതുകയാണ് എല്ലാവർക്കും അവരുടെ കുടുംബത്തിൽ നിന്ന് അംഗീകാരം ലഭിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ആ കുടുംബത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു പെൺകുട്ടിയെ വളർത്തിയെടുക്കുന്നതിന് ഒരു സ്ത്രീക്ക് വേണ്ട എല്ലാ പ്രോത്സാഹനവും എല്ലാ കരുതലും നൽകി അവരെ അവളുള്ള കഴിവുകളെ വികസിപ്പിക്കുന്നതിന് എല്ലാവരും ശ്രമിച്ചാൽ ആ സ്ത്രീ എംപവേർഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സ്ത്രീയായി വളർന്നു സ്ത്രീ എംപവേർഡ് ആയാൽ അത് കുടുംബത്തിന്റെ പുരോഗതിക്ക് നല്ലതാണ് അത് രാ സമൂഹത്തിന്റെ നിലനിൽപ്പിന് തന്നെ നല്ലതാണ് സമൂഹത്തിനും കുടുംബത്തിനും രാഷ്ട്രത്തിനും 
സംഭാവനകൾ നൽകാൻ അതിന്റെ പുരോഗതിക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രവർത്തിക്കാൻ ആ സ്ത്രീക്ക് കഴിയും എന്ന് ഞാൻ ഉറച്ചു വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ഈ ദിനത്തിൽ ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി നിങ്ങൾക്കെല്ലാം ആശംസകൾ നേർന്നുകൊണ്ട് എന്നെ ഇതിനായി ക്ഷണിച്ച നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവിധം നന്ദിയും രേഖപ്പെടുത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് നന്ദി What does inspire, include, invest mean for you as a woman? It's a powerful message. We must actively work towards a world where women are not just present but valued, included and empowered. Yeah. Sense of belonging and relevance. Equal pay. Equal opportunity. Giving respect. Women inspire others to make positive changes in the family, society and the whole world. Support and build each other. Being a mentor and a guide. Take care of yourself. Invest time for yourself. Uh, I feel it's women who most another women the best. But many times it's women who bring each other down. So maybe we can be more inspiring. We can invest in each other more and include other women more.